a major emphasis in the Hamilton County judge's temporary block on Ohio's heartbeat bill is discrimination against women's health care. In the ruling, Judge Christian Jenkins cited multiple cases where a mother's life was threatened and they were denied the right to end their pregnancy. NBC4's Anna Hoffman spoke with people on both sides of the issue about these health care concerns and what they have to say. Jared, advocates on both sides say they value saving the mother's life. It's how they go about saving that life is where their opinions differ. Ohio was brought to national attention when it comes to the topic of abortion this summer. And with this temporary ban, those cases are being brought back into the spotlight. Women's health care is back at the center of conversation as a temporary ban has been placed on Ohio's heartbeat law, making abortion legal for up to 20 weeks of pregnancy for the next 13 days. Abortion is health care. Kelly Copeland, the executive director for Pro-Choice Ohio, says they have been fighting to get the courts to recognize cracks in protecting women's health care for years. Cracks like the ones mentioned by the Hamilton County Judge Christian Jenkins in his temporary ruling where women with cancer were denied chemotherapy treatments until they ended their pregnancies, but were denied the right to do so. People may not be able to access care um, for cancer, for any number of health care conditions on a timely manner that may not immediately cause their death, but could very well endanger their lives and their health on a, on a more long term basis. On the other side of the issue, Elizabeth Whitmarsh with Ohio Right to Life says they believe a doctor should take all life threatening measures to save the mother's life while also saving the child. It's important that when we draft any of our laws that there's, you know, two lives that are going to be impacted and that's the mother and the life of the unborn. And we think that we shouldn't have to pit uh, both of those lives against each other. When it comes to what exactly is considered to be immediately life threatening, medical professionals say at this moment it's hard to define. We've gone through years of education and training, uh, experience, uh, uh, battling for our patients uh, in these sometimes very acute scenarios. Uh, whereas those who have put the laws into place uh, don't have that experience or don't have that medical background. And for the implementation of these laws, for their perspectives, it doesn't always correlate to what we're trying to figure out or deal with in addition to the medical urgencies. Dr. Syed says they're sometimes making these decisions on a minute to minute basis. And with the current legal parameters, it's not as clear cut as you may think. You'll hear more from him on this issue coming up tonight at six. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.